9.15 right now. Yep. Downtown Detroit, local for live stream with Jason Todd starts now. Hey, good morning to you. Keep that music going a little bit there. All huh? right. How are you doing? Day seven of That Was Then, This Is Now. How are you adjusting to the new uncertain reality, the postmodern presidency elect, uh, the new urban radicalism? Revenge of the rural, unspoken for masses. There's a lot going on in the country right now, a lot going on. We hope to be both informative and um, well, sort of relief from the seriousness at hand. We want to inform, entertain, infotain, and everything in between. This is the 915-ish, Jason Carr Live, coming to you here on Facebook and also live streaming on Click on Detroit. Dot com. I have the sense that my audio has just been boosted. A little bit. I, I brought it up. I, I'm not exactly <laughs> sure how low it was. But I John Steckroth, producer, so always good. working hard at the controls, and the unseen Jacob. <laughs> <laughs> Is that like the uh, the hook that comes in and drags the person off the stage? Is <laughs> Are you okay? Oh, everything's good. There's a lot everything's of movement going on to, back uh, there. Check the audio levels, make sure everything's okay. All right, but let's get into it um, as John brings up a, a nice, beautiful big buck to show off there as he untangles his headphones. <laughs> He's got a rat's nest. Uh, yeah, it is deer hunting season. Uh, Michigan hunters heading into the woods hoping to bag the big ones today as the uh, firearm season kicks off. It has a tremendous economic impact. Uh, on the state. During the season, 525,000 hunters are expected to participate. You know what's making me laugh right now? You can leave this up. It took until we started the show for the ratchet, the yeah. socket wrench to come out. There is some noise it, it, did, from it didn't start until right when we went on. There is somebody over within, I don't know, how many, 25 feet of us right now? Yeah. Dismantling our old camera mount and, with a socket wrench. So if you can hear it on, on your feed, then I apologize. Uh, hunters will spend $1.3 billion on hunting equipment, $2.3 billion on food and lodging. Deer season in Michigan also attracts hunters from throughout the country, boosting the state's economy. The season runs from uh, the 15th through the 30th, in case you were wondering. All right, let's get to those super moon pictures. Yeah, these are, these are just incredible. Wow, look at that one. Yeah, that, that, that's a good one. <laughs> Where, where's that? That's uh, that's the moon. <laughs> Would you eat the moon if it was made of barbecue spare ribs? <laughs> no, this this is how about half the country felt last Wednesday morning <laughs> when they woke up. All right, let's get to the super moon. Uh, first of all, this is Australia. This one's in Australia. Yeah, that's. I, did you get a chance to see it last night? Uh, I saw it this morning. I saw it both yesterday morning and this morning on my mid-morning, you know, overnight ride to work. Yeah. So bright yesterday. So, so bright. This one's out of Philadelphia. Mm hmm. Burma. London. Oh, that's cool. That's that um, yeah. a carnival ride. Here it is in Kazakhstan. Yeah. California. I think we need to boost your mic so we can hear Maybe. you too. I like any, any of these that show the plane or the planes in front. Those are my favorites. And uh, oh, look at the size! That's New York. Oh my goodness, that is super cool. Hong Kong. Now these, this is where it gets artsy. Yeah. Um, taking the twinkling lights picture, right? Yeah. Yeah. And then this is out of Vietnam. Ooh. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, pretty great stuff. All right. <laughs> Uh, the sinkhole. Remember the sinkhole that opened up in Japan? When was that? Was well, you ha you have the. Don't you have the? Yeah, yeah, we've got photos. Let's see. Or do we, were we going somewhere else next? No, 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 that was where we're going. Yeah. Okay. Look at now. The left is a massive giant sinkhole, and 
on the right, 48 hours later, fixed up. Nothing to it but to do it. Construction workers in Japan, they've got it together. Look at that. Could you imagine if they could fix some of the roads around here in 48 hours? My daughter's going to be in college by the time they finish 75. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One more time, before and after. That's amazing, yeah. 48 hours apart. When did you want to do the uh, Chinese scary yeah, let's cars? let's do it now. All right. So um, hopscotching, skipping, jet setting across Asia. We go from Japan to China where they have found a way to freak out people who are behind you in traffic who have their high beams on. And if you have your high beams on, on you're going to see stuff like this in the car yeah. in front of you. It's something that will re reflect only with the high beams. Regular headlights aren't going to do it. Um, and it's supposed to try and keep people from using their high beams. That's how we used to ride in station wagons when I was a kid. Spacing, Unrestrained, facing, back. facing backward. Right, Rod? Absolutely. See that? The, uh, is that a go back to the last the one. Can you go back to the last one? There we go. Remember? All the, you'd be in well, traffic. Yeah, that, well, yeah, that, you, that's a touring, but no, you, you, you'd have, a, I, we had the, the Vista Cruiser, which faced forward, but then there was the Chevy Caprice wagon. That faced backward, that faced with the backward. rumble seat. Yes, and they would put the window down and they'd be sucking all the fumes in, though nobody knew. <laughs> what, is that what happened to us? Yes. Generation X sucked too many tailpipe fumes <laughs> in the back of a Caprice classic wagon, and that's how we ended up the way we are today. Uh, Trump bird. Oh boy, we should leave this. Oh, did you have more of the Chinese scary? Yeah, cars? there's a couple more of them. Okay. This one, Sorry. Uh, I mean, I, you could just imagine being behind a car and. and Do you I have the last one that has the profanity or no? No, no, we don't. Okay, so there's there's another one that you can acquire. That tell basically exactly plainly spells think. out. Enough with the <laughs> blank and I, uh, high beams. Turn them off. Now Trump bird. The Trump bird. The Trump bird. Good looking bird. Tell me uh, what you know about the Trump bird. Well, not much. It's out of, uh, where do I have that? A golden pheasant at the Hangzhou Safari Park. Yeah. Um, is pretty pretty well known now. People, The, the zoo staff says, says that they're getting an increase in numbers of people that are coming to visit specifically to see this one bird with its yellow comb over. <laughs> I mean, oh, oh, that's the cat. We're going. Tell me, to the cat no, next. tell me about the cat. You had to show the cat, so tell me yeah. about it. Yeah. Well, uh, this is Julian Assange's cat, the WikiLeaks founder. No, who, that's uh, that's the bird. Yeah, that's the bird. This is the cat. Is Anyways. the cat watching the bird? <laughs> there might be something to that. <laughs> From the Ecuadorian <laughs> embassy in London. Talk yeah. about a metaphor. Um, so, anyways, Assange like, apparently dresses his cat up. Uh, he's got to be pretty bored, stuck in that embassy all day. And, hmm. Can uh, we go back to the bird now? Yeah, let's go back to the bird. <laughs> this is all... <laughs> oh boy, that's all anybody wants for Christmas is a bird with a comb over. Um, so yeah, so you talked about Julian Assange's cat, uh, yes. embassy cat embassy as cat. it's known. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Once you get uh, Mamacita, Donde Esta Santa Claus in your head, That's you cannot it. get it out. Nope, done. Did you have it stuck in your head yesterday? Yeah. You're just saying that for, for my benefit. <laughs> uh, the Oreo bar, all I want for Christmas is Oreo cookies disguised as a candy bar. This is new. There's the Oreo candy bar coming out soon. Um, coming out soon? Well, expect it out in January. So it's. What is Milka? Milka? Yeah. Huh. No, I didn't notice that part. Yeah, Milka. Is um, launching their own ca uh, chocolate bar. They're going to have a classic three and a half ounce Oreo chocolate bar with bits of the cookie inside and a larger ten and a half ounce Big Crunch bar that will have a layer of cookie, a couple layers of cream and more crunchy milk chocolate no price yet but um they're expected to be out in january when we're all have sad you know seasonal affective disorder yeah we're all supposed to be going to the gym january 1st and then this cookie comes out 
In case you're wondering what the background noise is now, we've gone from socket wrench to Rod Maloney working his sources on the phone in the atrium, which is just a big giant sound corridor. Uh, Dunkaroos. Dunkaroos, this is very interesting. What? You guys remember Dunkaroos, right? Yeah, kinda. Kinda. Well, I mean, it was it was like the quintessential '90s kids' food that you took to school with you. Anyways, they they stopped being produced in 2012. At least were discontinued in the U.S. And General Mills is unofficially attempting to bring back the snack to America in a very unique way. <laughs> Uh, because Dunkaroos don't meet certain health guidelines, to, they can't advertise to children, but obviously they're advertising to children. Um, so they're trying to smuggle them into the country using a website called Smuggle Roos. I actually went there this morning. Oh you my can gosh. become a Canadian exporter or an American importer, and you can get a Canadian friend to ship you enough Dunkaroos that you can sell them yourself. Um, so, uh, if you're interested. I hope he won't forget to crack his castanet and to his reindeer say a Pancho, a Vixen, a Pedro, a Blitzen, Ole, 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 Ole. This song never gets old, Rob Maloney. All right, let's uh, go on to Michael Fulmer. Hey, it's TV's Mara McDonald. What's up? <laughs> Tigers pitcher Michael Fulmer won AL Rookie of the Year last night. Fulmer was 11-7 and with a 3.06 ERA and 26 starts for the Tigers. There you see a dramatic mid-stride. You have a great story? Yeah, not for that. What? Is it something you can share with us? No, we're going to save it for noon. <laughs> oh, oh, come on. I mean, I got so excited I unplugged my IFB. What, uh, what's going on? Wait, wait, they can hear you, so. <laughs> well, I guess we're just going to have to wait till noon. Uh-oh, we have a, I'll give away part of it. We have a stolen Oak Park cop car, but we don't know how we got to that point. I mean, he knows, but you're going to have to watch Local 4 at noon to figure it out. <laughs> the Detroit twist. Yeah, we can't give away. No, 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 no. That's that's that's. It's, you got to wait for noon to figure out how we got to the point of having uh, somebody other than a police officer behind the wheel of an Oak Park uh, cruiser. Anything else? No, that's all we've got for today. What time are we looking at here on the old clock? Oh, look at that. Yeah. I mean, at about 15 minutes or so. Uh, coming up live in the D, it's me and Tati Chuck still on vacation, you see. And with that, I will say stay classy. Stay classy, Detroit.